All right, guys, how you doing? A version's crown, Erubus, or Erubus. This was recommended in the comments below, and it got enough attention, so I was like, fuck it. I'm getting back into things. We are back. Hello. It's been a while. I wasn't on hiatus. I was just taking a break from that uh, head-banging fiesta, which was immortal. Without further ado, guys, we're going to hop into Erubus, or Erubus, or I don't know how you want to say that, but that's just where we're going to go. Rick and Morty. This is interesting, very a dark art style, and it's, I like it a lot, so far. Those vocals fading in. Oh, here the beat comes, the drums are, oh my, I remember. Oh. Oh, that's fast. Oh, those highs? Okay. I'm digging that. It has that very, like... I don't know, the, we went from a very fast to slow down with the guitar kind of having that like heroic riff going on, very just uplifting. All those blast beats, baby, love them. That's not really not blast, it's space. Oh, yes. Ooh, those like very low gutturals. Yes. He should do more of those. I love how I said it and they were like, yo, we got you. I'm so happy there's uh, lyrics on the screen because I have no idea what the hell is being said. Oh, shit, that was nasty. Primordial ooze, man, I dig that. Work out essential, essential. There's a lot of vocal variation happening in this song, and it's very impressive because they're all very sound and like they've all been like refined. Like, definitely an experienced vocalist. Wow, what an interesting song. This was a heavy song that took a very, like, interesting route. Like, I, the vocalist did a good job of keeping the song very mixed, if that makes sense. I have to kind of spell my thoughts now about the song. And all very good, by the way. So, all right, so a version's crown. Oh, Arubis. So, very interesting track. It had a very. 
a heroic, melodic type of instrumental or kind of sound to it. Uh, that's the atmosphere I was kind of in while listening to the song. Lots of variation from the actual instruments from a very fast range or fast paced stuff uh, to like the very beginning of the song to mid range and the transition to like the slower and then if not like, I don't know, um, uh, more like breakdown and stuff like that. So very interesting from that point of view. Um, from the vocals, though, I tell you what, this vocalist has a great range. He had mid ranges, he had high ranges, and he had those nasty ass lows. His lows are honestly so badass. Like that, really. Like I was impressed by his vocals, but when I heard that, like those guttural, like really like tonal like vocals, it really caught my attention, and I was I really wanted to hear more. And luckily, to my surprise. He ended up the next couple of lines were in that type of vocal range. So honestly, I feel like if this song used a lot more of those lows, this song could have been way more brutal. The song itself had the, the structure for it, and it was great as it is, but it had the potential to be more aggressive, I feel like. That's just me. Um, besides that, guys, the, the music video was great. The lyric video was very, it was 60 frames a second, I can tell. I didn't see much buffering on that side of the end, but that's my technical ty uh, type shit. But yeah, a great video, guys. Uh, until then, I'm actually going to check out another Aversion's Crown because my man Priv J was uh, telling me to get into this. So we're going to go ahead and we check this one out because there's a lyric video. And we're going to get into the one that doesn't have any lyrics in a second here. So with that being said, guys, peace out.